So normally at this point of the video I have something about the games we're playing this week, but instead I wanted to take a moment to be serious with you all for a minute. If you know somebody who's suffering from mental health, please contact your local health representative. I've popped some links below uh, that have different places uh, as support that you can contact. I suggest that if you feel mental health topics may trigger you to miss this video. Thank you and let's get started. Hi, hi, hi everyone. Welcome to Indie Spotlight number 16. This week I decided to shine a light on an important issue for me, mental health. I myself suffer from mental health uh, and I found this episode rather confronting, but at the same time comforting that mental health was being represented well, or well, through these games anyway. It's always great to see that video game developers are showing mental health is not a taboo sub topic and that it's important to be aware of your own mental health and seek help when needed. Oh, did I forget to mention? I created a Twitter list on my Twitter that allows you to see all the Twitters of the developers that I've shown throughout this Indie Spotlight series. You can find them at my Twitter, twitter.com Midnight Victoria. Anyways, let's check out the games for this week. The first game we checked out was called Mental Help by Will. I have popped the links down below for him if you need to follow him. Uh, the premise of this game is that you are struggling to do everyday tasks for college and you can either choose to help them or to get some help or wallow in the bedroom getting worse. Um, each day someone chats to you to see how you are and words start flying across the screen, which I felt was a great touch to it because sometimes when you've got all these things going through your head, you can't really get to the one you want to say. Um I really enjoyed the way this game portrayed the struggle of depression and mental health. It felt like it was done in a good way. I think this game would be great, though, more for those who are not sure what their loved ones are going through with mental health, as it gives a good representation of the inner monologue and how it would be hard to uh, seek help when you need it. So let's check out Get Help. All right, so this one is called Get Help uh, by Will. Um, I'll pop all the links down below for this one. Uh, this, so this one, you explore the life of a teenager struggling with everyday tasks of society and you have to help improve their mental state day by day, talking to people, completing things and stuff like that. So let's see what this one is like. Wait, we can, uh, change the size of it. Alrighty. So, so you see, developed by Will Atkins, Arden, I'm sorry if I butcher this, Bad Herlona Man and Nicholas Clifton, for the Jam Mind 2018 Jam Game. So, I just want to make sure we're going to get some sound first. Because I have had an update and, and everything wants to be shitty. Okay, we should have sound. Fantastic. All right. Let's get started, shall we? Physics assignment. Oh, fuck off. I don't want to do a physics assignment. I live in a nightmare in which I am my own worst enemy. Each day I fear to leave my room and inflict upon myself upon society. A constant weight maintains a dull existence to return to bed despite the lack of sleep it brings. A part of me knows I must keep on top of college work and tell people how I feel. But these are impossible tasks, so I remain here in limbo between guilt and apathy. Utterly lonely, except for a thousand unheard voices. Anyone? No. Stay up. It's English essay. But that just said it was a physics essay. Physics assignment. Biology essay. They're all saying the same thing. Can I go out the door? No. Can I talk to other people? No. Guess I go back to bed. Another day passes, nothing changes. Wake up, smash the space bar. Hang on. All right. Hi, how are you? Oh, fuck. All right. I want all right. I want all right. All right. You're fine. It's. Oh, shit. 
I raced through mine last night. Did you want any help with yours? Yeah, come over. Yay! Yay! I got it. Yes. Physics assignment. Why can't I do this? I try to type but I feel a steady weight that begins behind my eyes and grips my whole head. Wow, the feels are real, man. I get it. I get it. Everywhere, everyone else finds this so easy. My friends, these are completed in a night. Why can't I? Why can't I do anything right? Why can't I can't think with this pressure around my head? I can't see the letters as they dance across the screen, taunting me. I want to sleep, fly away where I'm not letting everyone down and everything looks so dark. I do like how they did the whole letters flying across the screen as you're trying to, you know, do stuff because, yeah. Go to bed anyway. Another day passes, yet nothing changes. Wake up. Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, I need help. I need to ask for ascension. Uh, uh. Great, thanks. Yay! Why can't I do it? Oh, this is not the right thing. Things are starting to look up. Oh, yay! Hello, how are you? I want to tell you something. Oh shit! I haven't been feeling well. It's sunny outside today. Oh yeah! I watch from a window as my neighbor returns home from work, calling hello to my dad as she gets out of her car. She's smiling, seems excited to be home. I wish I felt that happy. It seems like my room is filled with fog despite the bright sunshine outside making everything hard to see. I can't bring myself to go out. My wardrobe seems too far away, my rucksack too heavy, my body too clumsy to move. So I stand at the window, staring at the world, filled with bustling, cheerful people wishing, but being too terrified to join them. Who's at the door? Come in. Morning, how are you today? I want to tell you something. You're running late. Are you coming down for breakfast? Oh, gee, thanks for, um, you know... Have you done your homework? I could do with some help. I know I need to get going, I need to get dressed, face it, I eat breakfast, all that normal stuff. But it all seems so impossible right now. There's a pit in my stomach that seems both empty and full at the same time, crying out for me to return to bed. So I stay staring at the wall, trying hard not to think too much. Thinking too much is dangerous on days like this. I ignore my mum as she calls up the stairs again, telling me to get ready for college. She doesn't understand. No one understands. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah, fine. Ah, let's meet up. Would you like to? Yeah. Dude. Can I come over? Okay, shall we get some food? Yeah, I could do something to eat. <laughs> meant to go and meet my friend an hour, in an hour. I'm meant to be getting dressed right now. I'm meant to be excited to see my friend. And I sit here feeling numb, trying to muster the energy to move. What's wrong with me? I bet my friend doesn't really want to see me anyway. Why would they? I bet they have loads of other people they would rather meet up with. People who have better friends than me. I don't want to hold them back. I'm a burden to them. No, I'm not going. I'm staying right here where I can't bother anyone. Dude! <laughs> Hello, are you alright? I need help. I need... I need help. I need help! How's college? I'm finding a tour room. Do you want me to take a look? Yes, thank you. I try again to do some work. I thought I did an okay job yesterday, but reading over it today shows me 
that what I have written is terrible, childish and boring. I feel worthless and stupid. I delete the whole document and bury my head in pillow. Voice of my teacher trickling through my head, telling me that I'm never going to pass, never going to amount to anything. That is a shit teacher if they're doing that. I'm sorry. But a teacher does not teach like that. The teacher needs to, as my mental teacher keeps saying, set them up for success. Part of me wants to cry, but a bigger part of me can't seem to find the energy to care. <laughs> Hello, how have you been feeling lately? Not well. I want you to know that you can talk to me. What's wrong? Um. Oh, fuck. Why haven't you been seeing friends? I'm scared to socialize. Mum came out to my room early and hovered outside for ages. I he heard Dad speaking to her in a low voice, telling her what I had said. They both sounded upset. I think Mum even cried a bit. I feel terrible guilt. I bet they wish they just had a regular teenager. It was fun and everyone liked. I wish that I was that person too. I wish they could look at me with pride instead of ever, ever present worry. I'm not good enough. Every day I try, but some days it's like I'm walking through mud. Every step just becomes heavier as you sink further and further down into muck. I wish they understood how hard it is to try. I feel feel for them. Hello, how are you? I want to tell you something. Oh, was evening everything all right at college today? <laughs> I've started to hate going. You seem really distracted today. What's on your mind? You're right. I should take some time off. My friend came to see me after college today. They said they'd noticed me being spaced out during the lesson. I hadn't had a good day. My head felt crushed and, and a vice forever on the verge of tears. My throat tight and constricted. I barely understood what the teacher was saying, let alone the concept of the work. I didn't say much while my friend spoke to me. The feeling familiar guilt swelled in my stomach. I'm an awful friend. I wanted to tell them that it was nothing that they had done. It was just that my world today had seemed colourless, like an old black and white movie. I wanted to tell them that I had no idea I was going to pass this, how I was going to pass this class. Instead, I made some generic excuses, keen to get them out of my room so I could be alone. They paused on the way out and told me I could ring them any time for the notes and just a chat. They smiled. They really did look. They really did look what? Can you, like, go down? Okay, I don't get to see the rest of it. That's a bit sad. Hey, how are things? I need help. I need help. Do you want to start playing the guitar again? Maybe, maybe when I feel better. Maybe when I feel better. Would you like to do something as a family? Talking would be good. I spoke to my parents today, not about anything big or scary, just about music and stuff. They seemed to be overjoyed. I was initiating conversation, but it made me feel a little sick and familiar nasty. It, that it made me feel as little sick and familiar nasty thoughts and accusations started running through my head. But I stayed there with them, even if I fell quiet after a while. As I left bed, Mum hugged me and told me she was proud of me. Aww. How have you been? I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Can you tell us how you feel? Perhaps you should see the doctor. You're right. Oh no, you're right. Damn it. Mum and Dad had a long conversation today. I told them I was scared for my own thoughts. That sometimes I feel too hard. It, it seemed too hard. I tried to convey how difficult it is to describe how I feel. I felt the apathy, the guilt, the disparate sadness. They listened without interrupting, letting me speak. After I, what I felt like hours, I admitted that I didn't need, think I could do this on my own anymore. I needed some help. They reassured me that they would do all they could to help and that I should ring the GP as soon as possible. The thought scared me and the pressure in my head remained. My hand, hand hovers over the core button. Just one click. That's all I need to do. My hand, head feels foggy and then 
Again, voices I can't make out, whispering, arguing. I just want this nightmare to get better. I want to complete my college work. I want to see my friends. But what if the doctor doesn't believe me? Am I just wasting their time like everyone else's? Maybe I'll just go back to sleep for a bit, try again later. I wrench myself out of the mud and hit the dial button. Doctor. Can I book an appointment? Doctor, please help me. So I did a good. I assume I did a good. If I went to the doctor. So yeah, that was, uh, what was it called again? Help me. Help me? Was that what it was called? Get help. Um, I, I liked it. I liked the way they made the words kind of blur everywhere because when you kind of, as a person who's been in that situation before where I've hit rock bottom and had to call the doctor for assistance, you do get all that foggy different words and you want to say something, but you just can't click on it. It's like you're trying to click on the right one and you can't click on it, which is kind of what it's like in your head when you're trying to say the words and you just can't say it. Uh, so I, I liked the way that they did that. It was very, a uh, very, it gave a very big feel that you feel when you get that, um, the atmosphere and stuff. I liked that it was all in one room. I liked that you could read like that. That was really good that you kind of, it, it gave real, real thoughts. Like that's, that's kind of how it gets when you're uh, in that situation. So it was good that they did that. I feel like this is a really good representation of it and I feel like it's probably good for people to try uh, to um it, it helps people understand not so much like the people who are going through it they already know what they're going through but like for the people who need to understand what's going on um, it's really well done and it's a great one for that um, so that's my thoughts on get help the next game we checked out was Paper Cages by Placeholder Gameworks. Now, I've played some games by Placeholder Gameworks before, uh, Death and Taxes, and I really enjoyed that one. So I was interested to see what they came up with as well. So this was a very interesting game. The prize is you get up, you do daily tasks, and you go to work. However, I soon found out that the decisions you make based on your answers at the beginning make it harder to do certain tasks that increase the mental aspect of your thought process. I literally only lasted one day at work and then I went, well, I went crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean cray, cray, crazy. This game takes a strange but interesting turn and you have to fight your demons. Honestly, this was a shock to my system, but I truly thought it was great how you had to type the words. I struggled to do so while doing it. Um, now, the developer does have a trigger warning, so trigger warnings for mental health, depression, anxiety, self-loathing, dysphoria, and eating disorders. Eating disorders. <laughs> right. Well, that out of the way, here's Paper Cages. It's, uh, this one is called, um, Paper Cages by Place, Placeholder Games. Um... It's also about mental health as well, because we're focusing on mental health ones this week. Um, there are some trigger warnings for this one uh, to do with, um, I believe it was body dysmorphia and uh, um, body issues and stuff. So if that's something that triggers you, then please um, give it a miss and head on to the next one. <laughs> it's Okay, let's get started. It's eight in the morning already. La la la, don't hear you. Okay, fine. Yes, clothes. Yeah, like your boot. Yes. Don't hear you. Yes. Okay. All right. Where am I? How do I walk? How do I get up? Hello. What am I supposed to do? Press C. Oh, Z, 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 Z. Oh, right, okay. Kitty. Hey, kitty. 
Oh, okay, let's go get our wardrobe. We dressed. What else do we need to do? Uh, have something to eat. Mirror, get do my hair. No, PC. Hey, hey, Nick. Yep. Good luck. Okay. This way? Bathroom. Bathroom. Brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. Guess we grab our jacket. Be working. What? No, my alarm is really good. Fuck. Z. Oh, it's harder this time to get up. Jesus. Oh. At the kitty. It's very hard to press the button. The kitten's walked away. <laughs> it walked away from me. Dress. Oh, it's much harder to put that clothes on this time. <laughs> yeah. Bathroom. I feel like I'm on a dead by daylight. Oh shit, brush brush teeth, brush teeth, brush teeth, brush teeth. Oh shit. Shit. What is that one? What do these things in the bottom mean? Oh shit, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat, gotta eat, 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 e
Meditation. Ah. Meditation. Melting. Kindness. Stress management. Kittens. Vomit. Molten rocks. Nature. Stretching. Kindness. Kittens. Kit kittens. Kittens. Lost. Time. Time. Time alone. Whiteboard. Positive. Journal. Pup. Puppies. Vendor. Journal. Time alone. Stretching. Kittens. Help. Positive. Kindness. Sleep. Knowing yourself. Flowers. Woo! Oh my god that was uh, that was just fucking weird jesus fucking christ <laughs> that was um paper cages so that was interesting it was a new um way to look at it it definitely was it as you tried to do things you got crazier and crazier and uh yeah that was something different which I, th I think it was a different a different aspect a different not a different aspect a different perspective is not a bad thing because everybody deals with mental health differently everybody does things differently um and so therefore representing it in a different way is good because it makes you kind of see what other people are seeing because you don't always know what the other person is really going through and sometimes they don't want to tell you um so you need to ask um but yeah, I thought that was really cool. It did say it did have a horror aspect of it. Um, so that was really good. There was some really harsh words in there. Um, and sometimes I felt like I couldn't even pick a good choice. Um, but I guess that's kind of what comes in with mental health as well. You kind of feel like you can't do anything right. Um, so I kind of see where it's coming from as well. I wish there was some way I could pick the right choices, but you know, um, some people were not in that state to do so. But thank you, that was that was great to play, thank you. That was Paper Cages. The last game we checked out was Imaginary Friends by Manny Tsu. This definitely felt more like a puzzle game rather than a mental health game. I mean, the game does have different aspects of mental health. Haley did feel alone a lot and there was not really anyone around her for the beginning and she spent a lot of time in her room and stuff like that. Uh, but it does take a twisted turn when you meet this boy with a red hat and she ends up going to some weird world which she has to work out puzzles to get back home. All I can say is save, save often. I mean, perhaps the game might have been more, had more confronting issues later in the game, but for what I played right now, it seemed more of a puzzle style rather than a mental health game. That is to say though, even though it wasn't what I thought it would be, it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy what I did play of it. The game developers also recommend that this game is not for people under 13. So, well, anyways, let's check out Imaginary Friends. This one is called Imaginary Friends by, um, this one is called Okay, so this one is called Imaginary Friends by Manny Tzu. Uh, so the idea of this game is you play as 14-year-old Haley, who spent her entire summer vacation alone in her room. Her mum wants her to go outside and play with some friends, but she doesn't have any. This, ch this is about to change soon when Haley finds herself in an imaginary world. Alright, let's check it out. Ah, okay. Space bar. Mum, Haley, what are you doing? Oh, I love the drawing. Nothing. You say that every time I ask, so I should have guessed. You haven't left your room once during summer break. Isn't it boring sitting at your computer all day? Not really. Why don't you go hang out with your friends once? Like I have any. What? I can't hear you if you keep mumbling, Haley. Nothing. 
I'm going to the supermarket with Timmy. Why don't you come with us? Don't want to. Well, you're going. Don't, I don't want you to be all pale when you get back to school. It's not healthy to sit inside all day. Haley, if you don't come out, I will cut off the internet connection for the rest of summer. <gasps> Fine. Controls, arrows, or Z, a space to investigate. Press X to hold the menu. Kiss me, snow. It's a potion, my favorite movie. My book collection. I should take these to the laundry. Maybe later. All right, let's go. So what do you want to eat tonight? I want to eat spaghetti. Again, fine by me. What about you, Haley? Does spaghetti sound good to you? I guess. Well, since you're so eager about it, why don't you get the pasta? Well, Timmy and I get the vegetables. Do I have to? Okay, okay, I get it. What time? What kind? Just regular spaghetti. But if you want to try something different, be my guest. All right, where's the spaghetti? Hi. Okay. What's this? Bread? Hi. Yeah, I feel you, mate. Where is the pasta? I don't know, mate. I don't know where the pasta is. What about you? Will you help me? F. Thank you. Missile. I really love chocolate too, Kate Haley. Where did Mum go? Where did my Mum go? Mum! 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 Mum's gone. Mum? Mum? Where are the eggs? I don't remember what one she wanted. You're welcome. Where did mum go? Oh, there she is. Mum, I got the pasta. Maybe this is the last time the cereal. Really? Could you get us some milk then? Sure. Thank you, honey. Move. Yes, I did. Oh, your sister. She's over here. Where did she go? Where is the milk? What's in this one? Well, ice cream. Ice cream cakes. French fries, vegetables, meat, frozen food. This seems to be all convenience stores. All right, um, what do you say? Nothing. Where's the milk? In this one? No. Bread. Dudes, take up the aisle much? What's in this one? Where's oh there it is.
Yay, we got some milk. Where'd mum go? Fucking hell, mum. Why do you always run away from me? Mum. 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 Huh? Hey! What? What? Hey! What the fuck? Mom, <gasps> look, they say alone now instead of sale. The fuck? Can we go out the store? Hello? Hey, what's going on? Where'd everybody go? Do you hear me? Why is the store suddenly empty? You want to play? Huh? What? Let's go play. I want to see your room. Let's go play at your house, okay? Hey, wait. Who the hell does he think he is? What a creep. Where did Mum and Timmy go? Ooh. Hey, I'm home. Is anyone home? Hello? Hello? This is just creepy, dude. There's a creepy dude in my room. Okay. Can I move now? No, I wonder. What happened? Mom? What the fuck? This is not my house. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Um, okay. Where did the kid go?
<gasps> there he is. I see him. Dude, I see you. You're behind there. Where's the kid? I'm not quite sure. Oh, I can go through this door. Ooh, um, that's a bit morbid, isn't it? I don't know why there's a graveyard through the door, but anyways. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? You're naked, you idiot. You're naked and you're like, I don't like a blue dress. Maybe you could just go get your own freaking blue dress, mate. No worries. Get dressed. Aha, I found you. All right, sounds good. What's that? All right, let's go give them the sugar cubes now. So they can have a tea party. I got you some sugar cubes. in the doll's purse. Was it? Items. Okay, um... I gave you a dress. <sighs> What's in this one? I like how it came up on the mirror. That's cool.
me? Maybe. Yes. Okay. <gasps> I'm sorry, what now? Fine, I'll give you a purse. I don't know how I'm supposed to get the thing off the dog though. Can I use the crowbar? Crowbar on the dog, maybe? Hmm. I'm sorry, what? It was whimpering inside. to help the dog <sighs> give the dog a bone of course Oh. oh my god interesting i'm gonna um leave it there though and um because i don't like to make my recordings way too long um this is interesting i'm not quite sure how it has like i get the alone bit was kind of to do with mental health but i'm still not quite sure what the rest of it is all about it just seems like she's kind of being tricked into this world then and she has to find her way out and she can't work out how to do it so there's quite a lot of puzzles and stuff to do there's not a lot as much mental health aspect as I thought there would be um maybe it's further in the game I don't know um but at this point I can't seem to uh, find it it is a very interesting game I do like the idea of it I'm curious to see what the ending is like when I get to it 
Um, but yeah, that's that was interesting. I loved the drawing. The drawing looked amazing. I liked the top down look kind of thing and the old school old school RPG type feel. Um, yeah, I I enjoyed that. Thank you. What an interesting mix this week was. Thank you so much for hanging out to check out these games with me. Which one did you like the most? Remember, if you are struggling or know someone who needs help, I've popped numbers down below in the description for you to uh, uh, assist, get, find some assistance. Remember, if you are struggling or you know somebody who needs help, I've popped some numbers down below in the description for you to find assistance. Have a wonderful week and I shall see you next week for our Indie Spotlight. Bye-bye.